most major singles titles in history. Serena still one shy of Margaret Court for the all-time record. Of course, there is the caveat that 11 of Court's titles came in Australia at a time when not everybody played Australia, so factor that in as you see fit. Either way, the pursuit for Serena will resume at Australia this year. I guess the good news, guys, is as we welcome in Chanda Rubin for the first time to this program, she's made four Grand Slam finals since coming back from her maternity leave. Should her fans be encouraged about that or nervous that she hasn't won any of the four? No, I would be more encouraged, certainly, when you think about what she's gone through, you know, how she's had to come back physically after the birth of her first child, the difficulty she had in, in the delivery and, and the physical issues she had after that. I think it's certainly encouraging for her to have made four Grand Slam finals. And if we were talking about anybody other than Serena, it would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think the one concern would be how she's lost those finals. You know, she's struggled mentally and emotionally, and that's just something we had not seen in Serena whenever she would get to the later rounds of tournaments. So I think that's more concerning than anything else. And you think about those four finals, she has not won a set <laughs> against players who you know, didn't have any experience in those moments, those big moments Serena did, and she just couldn't quite measure up. Yeah, it, it is a different Serena that we've seen in these last four Grand Slam finals where, surprise, she hasn't played her best tennis in the biggest match of the tournament. It's something we've just we thought was going to just be the habit of Serena. It'll be interesting, though, going into Australia. That's the perfect conditions for Serena. I personally think that the best conditions for her to win a slam, those courts in Melbourne the last few years have played exceptionally fast. Mm -hmm. They play almost indoor-like with, with all the roofs that they have there. It really holds out the conditions. We have to see what kind of off-season she has. How much time has she put in off the court in her training, on the court as well, because she hasn't played a tournament since the U.S. Open? That's going to determine a lot going into Australia.